Hello everyone. All right, so today I'm going to show you the beginning of the Amazon's returns bin store hauls that I have for this week. So I went to one store today and it was $1 and I did walk away with uh, several items. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I have here, I saw this on Friday when I picked up the um, fountain pen ink but I had put this one back and I kind of hid it by the books because nobody over there ever looks at the books. And I was so happy to see that it was still there hidden away. So these are sticky notes. Uh, it's a monthly calendar and it's a six by eight size. And I was pretty happy to find it for one and that um, it's kind of like in a sticky note um, or rather it has the adhesive. So I didn't open this when I was at the store. Oh my God, it's not coming out. Um, I opened it when I got home. So you get, well, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Eight pads and they come in various colors. So we've got the green, they're gradient. We've got this kind of magenta. Then we've got orange and then this one. And they're undated. And they, yes, they are, it, there's an adhesive bag and it's pretty strong. So this will be great when I do start um, a new job and I can use it instead of having to buy a calendar, I can just go ahead and just make my own calendar. So i um, pretty pleased to find it. This kind of reminds me of like, kind of like a Muji, well, the packaging that is, reminds me of like Muji stuff. So we've got that. Oh. Come on. All right. And I'm just pulling stuff out in no particular order. So I found some CDs. Now, uh, one of the CDs is not here because I already gave it to my mom. Uh, she's a big Sinatra fan. And the one that I found was an ultimate Sinatra um, compilation CD. So it has all his best songs. So hopefully she's not going to play it again because... <laughs> Before I started filming, she was playing it downstairs and it was really loud. Um, but I did find this Blondie one and this is the greatest hits. And I am a fan, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm a, a fan of Blondie. So um, I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. This one I found, um, I don't like Ed Sheeran because they, I think they overplay his music on the radio too much. So hence, I don't really listen to the radio, but um, this one was intact and um, I might go ahead and just give this to my nieces. I think they'll enjoy it. So, and the reason why, uh, you know, CD wise, cause I know my sister's car, um, she's got like a six CD player in it. She has an older car. So, um, yeah, they can definitely listen to it in there. Um, I found more Taylor Swift stickers so I can give these to my nieces. Now, when I was there on Friday, I saw two packs of like the Japanese Kit Kats, the different flavors, but I didn't bother to get it because it's $8 and that's about as much as I would pay, you know, if I went to the Asian store. Well, I thought that this was also the Japanese one until I opened the bag when I got home and found that it's not. These are just Easter egg, but you know what? For a dollar, it's not a bad, you know, not a bad deal. And there's a lot in there. So they only put that in this bag because of the fact that this one had torn up. So sorry, I did want the Japanese flavored ones, but it's okay. So we got that. Um, now, every time I see this, I always pick it up. And I'm glad that nobody else that shops at that store knows what this is. It's my favorite mayonnaise. It's a Japanese Kewpie mayonnaise. Um, Kewpie they tend to put more egg yolk, I think, in their mayonnaise. So that's why it's a lot more creamier. And this is not as, it's not as oily as like American mayonnaise. And it just has so much better taste. So a couple of years ago, I was finding big ones like this, big bottles like this, and just buying them up. And then when my sister found out that I was finding these, she was like, oh my God, give me some of those. So I gave her, um, couple of them because I was finding the big ones and I was finding the two pack ones that are smaller. So we're really good on mayonnaise, but man, I just love this one. So I was happy to see it there. I didn't see this on Friday. So I don't know. It must've been in like one of their other, um, 
bins. Like they, on Fridays, they'll periodically bring out like three or four bins um, at the top of the hour, at the beginning in the morning so that people, um, it's just to be able to attract more people into the store so that they get a chance to be able to get stuff if they weren't there at opening. So I have a feeling that was probably in there. Now, I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to get this last week because I could have gave one to my niece who was a big Swifty fan and she'd already left for the Philippines, I think today. So these are Swifty bracelets. There we go. See, Swifty forever. I picked up three because I'm going to give two to my niece, uh, my nieces, but the one that went to the Philippines, um, I don't know. I'll see if my cousin, one of my cousins is going back. I think he is. I want to say he's probably going back this summer. So I might be able to um, send this to him to give to her. But, you know, it says Swifty. It's cute. Not my cup of tea in terms of colors because I, I don't really care for pink. Um, but that one's really cute. I'm, And then you got these and then you've got that one, Lover. So, oh, and then this one as well. But yeah, I'll give it to my other nieces here. I don't know if they'll wear them, but then again, their wrists are pretty small still. So we'll see if they'll wear them. If not, then I'll just sell them because I know there, there's some Swifty fans out there that would like these. And I have no idea how much these go for. Um, ooh, I got this. It's missing at least two brushes. So this is um, a small crevice cleaning brush because I, I do need brushes to clean my, um, what do you call it? My water bottles, like especially the one for the gym and then my, like my iron flasks because I have several of those. So, um, and to clean the tops of them because they definitely, like the mixes that I use will accumulate on the edges of the, um, the rubber seal. And sometimes it's really hard to get the, you know, to scrub in there. So this will help to be able to get in there. And then also this to scrape off that excess. This is really good too. I did buy some when I was in San Francisco over at Daiso, but um, I haven't used that yet. But I felt like these were even better because there's just more options, you know, to choose from. So this, I guess, is to, I don't know, but that's really interesting though. I have to look at the picture and see here what maybe I'm not missing eight and one. So that's two, four, six, seven. Maybe I'm only missing one brush. Yeah, I think I'm missing another one of like this, but that's it. So I'm glad that I um, was able to get most of the brushes. I found this little um, mouse pad. So adorable. It's top it off. Look at that. Yeah, for one dollar. So we'll just put that there. Yeah. These now, no, nobody knew what this was, and I only saw one of them. This is a Japanese brand called Gatsby, and usually um, they make mostly men's men, yeah, men's care stuff, and um, I knew that these were going to be really interesting. These are um, cooling, like cooling towels or whatever you want to call them, like sheets for the summertime. But I was looking online and I couldn't tell if they were, okay, so it's unscented. That's good. So then any, either gender can use it. So these are great in the summer, especially here because um, in the, in the deep South, it's hot and sticky, just like it is in Japan during the summertime. So I'm definitely going to make use of these. And that's not bad for a dollar. I think they go for like $13 or something like that online or even more. I couldn't even find them on Amazon. So it could be that the seller was just trying to get rid of their stock. And that's how they ended up there. Um, I found this cute little um, AirPod case and it's Snoopy. Whoop. So I might give this to one of my nieces because I gave them like some ear pods. So look at that. It is so, I love Snoopy. I love the peanuts. So it is adorable. 
He's got all his little different um, expressions, right? <laughs> and I don't know what this is. This is probably a cleaning tool, I would think. Let's see. Yep, it's a cleaning tool. That's perfect because I always need those for my um, earbuds. I have a uh, Samsung Live Buds, so I can't really use like the case, but I can always use this to clean them. That's really good that it came with that. But yeah, I'm going to give that to one of my nieces. Let's put that. Oh, no, that doesn't go in there. It goes in here. <laughs> and we'll put that in there so I don't lose it. Okay. Stick that there. Um, we're getting close to the bottom. Actually, I have two more items, and they're huge. So this says missing sheets, right? But I don't really care if it's missing some sheets because there are 100 pieces. So these are to protect your records, right? They're record sleeves. But I liked it because it is 12, 12, um, 0.75 by 12.75. It says there's no flap, but these can work for 12 by 12 step of paper, right? So hold on, I'm trying to find one where I can pull it out. Okay, here we go. This thing is just so big. So here is one of them that was all crinkled up. Let me grab some scrap of paper because I do have some here on the side. Okay. So we've got this right here, and let's hope that it does fit. It does. So this will be good for me to be able to um, protect, scrap, you know, like separate or whatnot, catalog, strap, the uh, scrap of paper that I have, because I still have a ton. There's a lot that I want to get rid of, but this will definitely work. I have a lot of loose sheets. When I used to order from... Um, scrapbook.com and then some of these other online um, shops so yeah and then I have this last thing so it's funny because I have this this is packing um, paper and I have it in craft and now I have it in white and it's always good to have this because you never know when you're mailing stuff and you need to um, to wrap it up it's kind of like in lieu of um, bubble wrap so um yeah for anything breakable but this is a really good amount and um it was the only one otherwise i would have picked up another one but um yeah i was just glad to be able to find this so okay so that is it for the items that i did buy today at one dollar i haven't gone to the other store yet i may do that um because I'm going to the gym first and then maybe after the gym, I'll go over there and see what they've got because I know that when I go to the gym today, I'm not going to be able to get all of my steps in um, because typically I do other stuff um, before I go to the gym and I'm able to at least get 3,000 steps and I have not accomplished that yet. So um, yeah, so I'll probably stop by there. If I do pick anything up, I will add it to this video. All right. Hi everyone, I'm back. Okay, so today, which is Thursday, uh, one of the bin stores, it's their dollar day. So I went ahead and checked out to see what they had. So the first thing that I picked up was this. It's one of those collapsible crates, which I'm pretty sure you've seen on um, Temu or Shein or AliExpress. Now, I just realized as I was pulling it, this out of the bag that one of the crates, it's cracked, as you can see here. So I'm going to try to tape that up and see if I can still use it. It's cracked here, which is not as bad, but yeah, I'm going to tape it. I like using these to store, um, you know, like, you know, washi or like my stamps and stamp pads or even like notebooks and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of fortunate that it was cracked. I didn't notice that at the store. I was just excited to see it. And because of the fact that it was not um, open, you know, I thought, oh, okay, should be okay. <laughs> Now, I always see these kind of uh, padded, you know, bags or whatever you want to call it, cases over at the bin stores. But um, 
I usually pass them up. Uh, there were a couple of one them that I had bought like a couple of years ago for like my headphones um, and like what else for like a printer and stuff like that. But this particular one, I got it because I want to use it for travel when I bring this camera that I'm filming on, which is a Canon M50, because if I take the lens off, it should be able to lay flat on here and I can still also store the lenses because the lenses are not very big compared to my DSLR. Um, this is one of the lenses. I only have two lenses, the one that I'm currently using and then this one right here, which is um, a 22 millimeter. So, and that'll store in there perfectly fine. So yeah, that is the reason why I got it. And plus I can also store like the charger with the batteries there all together. So it's not bad for one buck, right? All right. So let's see what else I got here. I didn't get too much. Picked up this um, pencil case. It's uh, by East Hill. I always see this on Yahoo. And, not Yahoo, what am I saying? <laughs> on Amazon. And so um, this one is a nice one because it's pretty long. Here is a pen. So you've got your little pen holder thingy here. Okay. And then the great thing about this is that it expands. Okay. So if you want to store more stuff, you can. And it gives you that much more space. Okay. So let me just open that up. So yeah. So that it'll you'll have like some depth in there to be able to store other things, you know, if you want to bring like a stamp pad or whatnot. So I like the color. It's lavender. Um purple, lavender, one of my favorite colors. So this will be a nice option if I want to um, use it. I like that it's really long too. It's not just limited to just the size of, you know, the length of a pen. So we picked that. I uh, finally started using this toothpaste. I picked up on a previous haul and actually I kind of like it. It's Italian um, and it, it tastes how do I say it doesn't taste as uh, chemically as like Crest, which is the other uh, brand that I use, which I like. Um, but yeah, I kind of like this. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'm going to get another one. So got that for a dollar. Uh, what else did I find? Um, I found these. These are um, adhesive, it's an adhesive alphabet. Obviously somebody use them because they're already cut up but that's okay because there's a ton of them right and i i don't know if this is vinyl or what the maybe it's it's kind of weird i guess this would go on the front yeah this would go actually on the front like a window a glass window or something but um yeah i thought this might come in handy for something uh i'm gonna ask my brother if he wants this just in case he owns a clinic. I used to work there, so they might need something like this, but it was just, like I said, a buck. It's not a bad deal. Okay. Let's see what else I got here. Um, so I found this, this is, where are my scissors? This is supposed to be, um, an apple, um, a lightning cable. So I guess I'm trying to think here. This can be, it says data cable, right? Oh, no, no, no. I see what this is. I got to give one to my mom. That's why I got it. So she can use her earphones on her iPhone. So there's two of them in there. So that's great. So as you can see, it's the lightning, and then you've got like if you want to use like a USB-C or um, use an audio, you know, plug. So that's always a good option. And that because there are two, maybe I can give one to my, my niece who's got an iPhone as well. Those are always good to have. And the fact, like I said, there are two of them and I got it for a dollar. So I'll put these back in there. I was trying to remember, why did I buy this again? <laughs> oh, I need to put that over here trash that. Um, this right here are the um, clear adhesive patches for the Libre 3. I used to use the Libre 3. It's for glucose monitoring. Um, but one of my mom's friends um, is has was, you know, put on this. 
and she's supposed to come by the house sometime this week or next week for me to show her how to use it. Um, and I've got to install the app on her phone. So uh, when I saw this, I thought, okay, since she's never used a glucose sensor, sensor before, she might need these, um, the covers or the sensor, so that way it doesn't fall off your arm because sometimes the adhesive doesn't stick on and you have to wear the monitor for uh, the sensor for 14 days. So if you're showering every day, yeah, sometimes it will uh, not, well, the adhesive will just loosen. Okay, and I know there's one more item in here and it's very small. Hold on, okay. So the last thing I found, hold on, let me just peel off this little plastic, was this Bare Minerals, okay, let's focus, there we go. It's a prime time, so it's an eyesha eyeshadow extender or primer. And I always use that kind of stuff on my brows because when I apply the brow powder on, it will, you know, stay on uh, better. And I put a sealer over it so the powder doesn't, you know, come off or wipe off if I happen to touch my face. So, and I, I've used um, Bare Essentials before, or Bare Minerals. It used to be called Bare Essentials. When I lived in San Francisco, before um, they became really well known, they were known as Bare Essentials. And they used to sell a whole bunch of other stuff aside from just um, the mineral powder. Um, they used to sell lotions, um, shower gels, things like that. And um, that's how I found out about the brow powder. And that's what I used for years until they discontinued it. And then they discontinued their um, body line, um, body hair line, which I absolutely adored. And so now they just do just the minerals. So yeah, so I got that. I don't know how much it goes for on the website. I'm gonna have to check. But um, I was pretty pleased to find this. So these are all the items that I got for today um, on, on dollar day. So I'll be back again for the stuff that I got on 50 cents day. All right. So here is the last of my Amazon returns in store haul. Um, this one store, it was 50 cent day on Friday and they hardly had anything. The bins were almost bare. And, um, it's kind of funny because as soon as I walked in, one of the women that I usually see, uh, came right up to me and she was like, this is so stupid. She goes, they didn't even post pictures on Facebook to show the, how bare the bins were going to be. And it was almost like a waste of time. And it true, it kind of was a waste of time to go because they didn't fill up the bin. So the only thing that I found, and it was actually um, right before I was going to leave, I just looked on the shelf and I saw this. And um, I recognized the uh, the box because it's from, well, it's from a, um, from, a, from Memo, I'm sorry. And these are labels. So I, oh, you know, I had found some previously. Um, I don't know if I have it here available for me to grab. No, I don't. But I had bought it. I think it was in probably the last video. Um, but this one here, these are... As you can see, they're supposed to be transparent uh, labels and they're 40 millimeter. But when I opened it, it seemed like they were, no, well, they are, they're 40 millimeter, but I don't think they're round. These were square. So unless somebody swapped it out, I mean, I'd, I, oh yeah, they are round. I think I do see it because I was going to say, it's like, I'd actually prefer the square, but that's okay if they're round. I mean, they're 50 cents for three, you know? And so I'm not um, upset at all that they're around, but yeah, it's kind of good to have because I can use them in my, um, the memo uh, printers that I've got, label printers. So yeah, this was the only thing that I was able to find yesterday at the bin store. So now um, it's Saturday and the week has technically kind of started, actually it restarted for two of the stores um, yesterday. So yesterday was $8 day, and um, today it's $6 day at two of the stores. Uh, the store that I bought this at, Saturdays, is tech, is their uh, $8 day. So the, you know, so the week has kind of like started for them on Saturday. I typically don't go. Right now, since I'm not working, I don't have the money to go and shell for stuff for $8. Um, I'll only do that if 
you know, I get this feeling that there might be something good, you know, like the fountain pen ink that I found. But um, yeah, usually I would go just to see what they have so that I kind of know, okay, I need to go back, you know, on Sunday when it's $4 day or later on the week, you know, when it's $1 or 50 cent day. But um, yeah, so thank you for watching all of the stuff that I've hauled from the bin stores and I will see you again in the next video. Bye.